Okay, welcome back. Um, what I wanted to show is how I make my own custom washers. Um, mostly at the hardware stores, they have the 62s, thousands, and the 31 thousands. These two here, the white ones, nylon, which I don't. I don't like the 62. That's at 62 thousands gap. I don't use a 62 thousands gap, so that's just to show you how it's set up. And um, for the beginners, if you want to, you can go to a HHO for free. That website shows you everything you need to know about voltages and uh, spacings and amperage. So check that out. It's a pretty cool site. But today, um, we've been building this type of vessel, me and Daryl, and uh, getting some good results. So I've been building these dry cells, but it was so much work to take them apart for testing. Uh, this was a very good cell here. This one actually on my one video I think was doing like four liters at under 20 amps and that's pretty good but um, we're getting pretty good results out of this type of uh, cell we're building now and it's easy to take apart and change the spacers and blah 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 so if you want to make your own custom washer um, find yourself some material like a nylon or teflon or this is philonic and um, you punch it out you get a punch at Harbor Freight it has a 3 8 die comes with and you can punch your holes like this mark them off and what I was doing is they have two washers at the hardware stores that I found um, this is the one 3 8 it's all 3 8 16 thread and uh, this one this little sloppy in there I didn't like that and this is the smaller washer one size down I think it was 5 16 and um, you have to use this drill bit which works really well and you put it in your vise, clamp it nice and tight, don't smash it or bend it. And um, one step punches out the three eighths. And uh, what I'm doing is, I don't want to take that much space up inside the plate area, in the gap there. So, the less area I'm taking up in between the washers, like that's a bigger one. Or you could use the spacer I'm going to be using, that littler one. That's less surface area that I'm taking up. And the more surface area the more hydrogen. So this is what I'm using right there. So uh, that's in between the plates. So what I do is I mark them off, cut them, put the holes. I use the new little washer that I knocked out to three eighths and um, put one on the on each side there. And as you turn this and grind them they will come out pretty nice and uh, works pretty good. You will have uh, custom washers. This is 47 thousandths. There's a bunch right over there. So we're not um, using them right now. We're in between. We're just trying different spacings. So I just wanted to show you how to make this. It's pretty easy to make. You can make your own washers. Just find some material and whip them up. And you need that uh, bit. Works good. You need the punch. And that would be it for that. Now, in the middle of the stacks, if you're a beginner, there has to be a non-conductive rod in there. It can't be stainless. Um, we just short it all out. So uh, what I tried to do is I tried some nylon rod. This is a black nylon. It's okay. It's like a worked pretty good, but it would snap when we put tension on it. Um, then I tried uh, the fiberglass. This is twice as strong. Nice and hard. But what it was doing is somehow it's wiping the threads out. So I didn't like that one. It's a waste of money. So I found um, some acetal, which is working really well. That's what's in that stack over there. Um, you thread it. It comes threaded or non-threaded. $10 a foot, I get it for, unthreaded. 15 a foot threaded. So um, then I have to make a, a, vice, a device here. I just got some angle iron, glued some rubber to it. So when you um, put the rod down in there, you ain't chewing up that expensive piece of plastic and it holds it nice and tight as you uh, thread it. Okay, um, For the beginners, HHO for free is a great website to go to. Uh, they have everything you need to know about amperage, voltages, spacings. Go check them out and um, give you some great information. So we're using the seedle for the middle in between the plates. Um, different spacings right now are being used to get the best gap. And um, I welded stainless my washer to the coupler. 
and people don't have a uh, welder, they can just get that fender washer, knock it out to 3 8 put it against their end cap or end plate like this, and then just put your coupler like that. This is all 3 8 16, and um, works pretty good. And then you can sandwich a set like that together. So, just wanted to show you how I make washers, so have a great day, and hope this helped. And um, take care. Bye.